man, a wise man who once said, you are what you eat. Or was that Barbara Cartland? I don't know. I mean, if you ate everything that was in Mary's book, that thick, you know, I doubt that you'd be as slim as she is. But if it's true that you are what you eat, the evidence on Britain's streets suggests we're eating a lot of rubbish. Cases of diabetes, high blood pressure, even rickets, would you believe, are soaring. But my next guest believes the key to good health lies not necessarily in medicine, but in food itself. Mary would probably agree. Please welcome the medicinal chef, Dale Pinnock. Mary. <laughs> Good to see you. Meet Mary. Nice to see you. So, you are what you eat. I mean, do you Absolutely. believe that as well? On every single level. Well, Mary's just been talking there about always oh, let's have butter, let's have good stuff. She's I coming don't want over. To miss it, no, come <laughs> over. Come on. Come on, well, come on, looking. Yeah, 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 let's talk good. about this. Come here for our last meal together. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're talking here about all different kinds of problems. Diabetes yes. is one of the things. Diabetes is a real big one. Obviously, there's two types of diabetes there's type 1 and type 2. Type 1, that's basically the one that you're born with. It's a, mm. a congenital issue. Type 2 is essentially a lifestyle condition. The real key to self-management of the type 2 diabetes is actually partly in the ingredients that you choose. So a real big focus on whole grains, things like pulses, for yeah. example, brown rice, lean proteins, such as oily fish. Yep. Then we've got mackerel. Yep. Oh, Lightly there's nothing better than mackerel. Beautiful, Straight from the sea. Absolutely, yeah. mm. it's gorgeous. Lovely looking fish. Really, really looking packed fish. with Beautiful. also another important factor, the good fats, the right types of fat. Yeah, or the, or the second so, part of the yep. picture is actually the way in which you put the meals together. And this dish here is a perfect example of that. So this is um, uh, sesame soy salmon with shredded Asian vegetables and coconut rice. You've got the whole grain, brown rice, very, very slow release carbohydrate. You've got the lean protein there from the fish and also the, the nutrient-dense vegetables. When you put those kind of ingredients together in such a way, you're essentially creating a dish that releases its energy very, very slowly. Mm -hmm. So it's drip-feeding your blood sugar. Right, so it's keeping your blood sugar at an even level. That's the one for diabetics. This one you're recommending for vitamin D? Vitamin D, yeah. The primary source of vitamin D for humans is the conversion of cholesterol into vitamin D precursors when our skin is exposed to ultraviolet radiation. Yep. Can you see the problem we have in this country? Yes. Not very much Not sun whatsoever. Much at the moment. And rickets is actually starting to appear again. But there are some rich food sources of vitamin D. So eggs, fantastic one. Lean dairy produce. Yep. Also, um, the spinach in there, really, really high in magnesium. Wonderful. Which right. actually works. So we looked at diabetes, we've looked at vitamin D. A lot of people are yes. worried about their heart and the heart disease and high blood pressure, mm -hmm. heart problems, and that's what you're going to cook yes, for. Yes, I'm going to make something problems. to actually... Uh, now, Mary, you can offer if I'll you want. Back to my you don't have now. to be on your stool if you don't want. Well, I do, but I just wanted to know what was going on. OK. <laughs> There's no escape. No. Right. right. So this is... This so, so is what, high, high cholesterol levels or what? Well, it, it's targeting different elements of, right. um, of heart health. This is spicy coconut dal. Oh, okay. right. So first ingredients go in is some red onion. That yep. deep purple colour pigment in there is from a group of chemicals called flavonoids. These actually have the ability to protect the inner lining of blood vessels from damage. OK? Yep. So that's gone in so there. That's, that's there. Over. Next thing to go in, green chilli. Right. Chilies contain a chemical called capsaicin. What capsaicin does is it stimulates the cells on the inner lining of our blood vessels to secrete a compound called nitric oxide. This then makes the muscles in the blood vessel walls relax. As they relax, they dilate, the vessel gets bigger and the pressure within it goes down. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, and you've got to eat it in the end. <laughs> um, all the details on the website, don't panic. Next thing to go in, garlic. Garlic, right, garlic, Mary likes garlic. Garlic contains a compound called aoine, OK? Aoine has an interaction with something called platelet aggregation factor. It regulates the rate at which blood clots. Right. OK. There's something in everything, Mary, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely every ingredient has a, a role to play, it seems. Absolutely. I, may I be, I'd be allowed to stir? I Please feel, do, I feel yeah, very yeah. Sort of not, She's not the best helping. sous chef you'll ever get. Makes the pressure. Um, okay, next thing to go in lemongrass, similar to the right. to the uh, chili that's in there. That doesn't look like you finely, very finely chopped. chopped. Yeah, to be uh, honest, it's usually very difficult I, to get it like that. I just get the whole root and really bash it. Oh. But yeah, I mean that's, that's what I do. That quickly. is skill, isn't it? To it's get impressive. it to that size, right? Yeah. Okay. So the actual um, the oils in there that give it that lemony fragrance, yeah. similar activity to the chili, right? Those are dilator. So it's a double so, whammy. Basically, you're sautéing it until the onion's nice and soft. Everything becomes aromatic. Then 
250 grams lentils. of red lentils. Yeah. You'll notice when you cook um, red lentils, they partially break down. They've got a, a fairly high level of soluble fibre in, so that actually helps to bind to cholesterol and carry it out of the body via the bowel. Right. So we're working on blood pressure, we're working on cholesterol. I'm trying on... to remember all this. <laughs> 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 Don't decide that. I've forgotten the right. name of the programme. To the website. <laughs> on the website. <laughs> so we've got that now. Right. Basically, all I'll be doing is adding coconut milk in there. Yeah. A little bit of stock, and then you're cooking it in the same way as you would a risotto. So you're adding stock little and often. How long is it going to be cooking for there on there, then? It's 15 minutes oh, not maximum, that long. Yeah, yeah, not very long at all. And right. then this is what you're what comes left out with. So, so would you like a bowl? So the lentils go down to a mush and make it thicker. Partially, yes, absolutely. So it's like a really lovely thick dal. But it's, it's a bit of a fusion kind of flavour as well because We've got obviously forks, the lemongrass, really that's more spoons. Southeast Asian. I'm all right, I've got a big one. Who bought forks out? That has nothing to do with me, by the way. Are you putting me on a diet? She's not going to fall through the prongs. <laughs> Mary's got the big wooden spoon here. Yeah, she's all right. Come on, Mary. Well, right, who's first? Yeah. Mary. Right, well, OK. Defer to Mary. So now I feel I'm under pressure. I'm worried about those chilies. Did you leave the seeds in there? I did. Right, so you're going to make me jump, and that's what the glass of water is for. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. really quite nervous. Oh, so you're not nervous as well. You're nervous. <laughs> It's absolutely... I feel as though it's doing me good, too. It's divine, isn't it? It's such a delicate flavour. Go with a fork. Come on, go for it. I think you'll get it up with a fork. Okay, oh, or you too, could turn it? it the other way up. Other end up. That's just... Oh, anyway, you're off here, Mary. Off, eating off the handle of a fork. It needs the water, though. It's not too hot at all. No, even no it's not. It's not hot. No, it's not. It is delicious, actually. Well, you could use it as a... You could use that as a dip, couldn't you, as well? And, um, on your, you you, you could. I mean, it's, it's, really, yeah, it's really great with, like, a little bit of quinoa and, um, you know, like, some steamed a greens or something. What? Quinoa? I don't know what quinoa is. Well, I'm quinoa so is, relieved, cos I uh, didn't. Well, it's, it's a seed. Basically, it's a really, really good alternative. We've got some here. Quinoa? This. It's a seed. It's a really, really good alternative no, to rice. Oh, right. Very, oh, very yeah. high protein, very, very low GI. So, again, a great ingredient for diabetes, cos it doesn't Where impact our blood sugar. Where would you buy that? In a health food you shop? You can get that. Everywhere you can get it in supermarkets, but the health is still. We haven't the way seen it. Have no, we haven't seen. No. We haven't seen quinoa, it's, it's but we're spelled, very keen to find quinoa. it. It's spelled quinoa, but it's pronounced quinoa. 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 Oh well, yeah. we would have quinoa. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. No, quinoa. <laughs> quinoa. <laughs> quinoa. Every morning with me porridge. <laughs> so does Mary. The last meal. All the information on these dishes you'll find on the website itvcom Titchmarsh, and in the book, of course, the medicinal chef. My thanks to the man himself, Dale Pinnock, and to the kitchen godmother, Mary Berry. I'm back tomorrow, chatting to Leslie Garrett and Lawrence Llewellyn Bone, plus a musical treat from Connie Fisher's new show. We'll see you at three. Bye bye for now. Well done. Excellent.